Welcome to part three and the final episode of LA-88. Let's get right into it. Okay, I think we spent more than enough time at the Mass Hall. And as we come upon this street, to the left would be the Sentry, which would be the entrance or the exit, depending on how you look at it. We're crossing over the street and going up the mound, and we're going to go up to the top and find the Athletic Court. There's a lot of property to check out. We haven't even seen the administration side yet. That's coming up. This is the athletic court, and it's pretty worn out, as you can see. Uh, it was a basketball deck, and I saw the two structures for the hoops on either side. You saw a glimpse of the concrete foundation, and whatever it was, it took 12 bolts to hold it in place, so it must have been something pretty heavy. And as we head to the front gate, we're going to head over to item two of three. As we come out of the front gate, we're going to go straight ahead, and that leads us into the administrative area. As you heard me mumbling there, I was very surprised that this front gate is open. This is the first time in all the times I've been up there that this gate was wide open. Now this is going to be a little hard to show you in directions of where the buildings are, but I'm going to do my best. The asphalt I just walked on and came up to the gate, what you're seeing in the diagram is in the far right corner. You see that little bit of a tight sidewalk. Then you come in and that first rectangle building, that is called the multi-purpose room. Up ahead is that building. Now we're basically facing southwest. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Believe it or not, I'm coming in at the lower left corner. We are facing south and southwest. Now that very first building, as you come in, that is again the multi-purpose room. Once again, that's the lower left corner building. Hopefully you have your bearings. Now the width of the building is north-south and the length is west. Okay, we're crossing over the multi-purpose room. We're going south. We're heading up here to the mess hall. We're going to look here to the left. The entire dark area is the kitchen. I'm going to take a couple guesses here that that white concrete area could have been where the sink was and the red spot in the very back was the walk-in freezer. We're heading out to the back of that building and that's where the shipping and receiving for the goods would have come from. We will turn around to face west and the concrete area that you're seeing would be the actual mess hall. We're going to turn left here going south heading out of the mess hall and across the way there that's the first barracks area. Let's head up the way there to that corner. That's one of the entrances and this barracks is on the left side and there's another barracks that would be a little bit more to the right there. We're coming up on a couple shower and bathroom areas. The barracks come and meet right in this location, so that's probably why we're seeing two different shower areas. Standing here in the barracks, I'm on the most south side of the whole facility and complex. I'm now facing east, and coming into view, that foundation is the second barracks, which is on the west side of the facility. Using this diagram, and where I was standing during the last shot, I would be in the lower right corner, facing west, to get back out. Next to the big tree is the flagpole. Now we're going to turn around and go down this long stretch of road. It's going to lead us to the dog equipment and storage shed. Across from it are the dog kennels. Well, here's something I didn't know. Because the site is actually a city island on top of the Oak Mountain, LAPD officers don't regularly patrol it and rely on the fences, 
padlocks, and no trespassing signs to keep people out. We're going to leave the kennels. <laughs> we're going to head back up to the admin area, and we're going to head out so that we can go to our third destination. We're coming out of the administration. Now, if we went straight, we'd be going back into the launch pad if we turn right down the hill. But we're turning left so I can show you the third feature I wanted to show you. And to do that, I've spliced these cuts in real short order so that it speeds things up. Let me try to name off some of the cities these sites are. Palmdale, El Monte, Brea, Stanton, Long Beach Airport, Fort MacArthur, Point Vincent, Redondo, LAX, Malibu, Oat Mountain, Newhall, Lake Balboa. Remember that helicopter earlier? This is where it landed. Now this is for LAPD when they patrol this end of the valley and go around to the west end and then go back to the city of LA. Currently facing southwest and came up going east, this is the whole south side of the San Fernando Valley. That's everything scanning from as far east as you can see and we're moving towards the west and at some point some of the mountains cover Simi Valley. Those mountains in the background, that's Mulholland basically. This fork in the road, we're going to turn right, which is east, and we're going to go up to as far as we can where it's private property. I did a super splice and edit job, and this is as far as we can go. If you look in the upper left corner, you'll see that white thing. That's a camera. All right, we're going to start heading back down to the car. Look at these scenes. This is what the valley basically looked like. The entire valley looked like this before the inhabitants moved in. And one thing I forgot to mention in the last piece, that when we were going left to right or east to west, if you look down in the very beginning, there's some developers and they're getting close to this mountainside. I'd like to add that you can support my channel by simply clicking the thumbs up. And thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to do another super splice edit job. We're going to go back down the hill. It's going to be really quick. What do you think? I know this video was a bit long, but the complex is big. I would love to read your comments down below. If you have oh, any ideas car, of videos man. I should do, tell me about them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope you will subscribe by clicking the subscribe button, click on the bell to receive notice of future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.